A Leewood woman in critical condition tonight after this massive fire rages through her home. It took firefighters hours to get this two alarm fire under control. Two of them were also hurt. Jenna Hanchard is live in Leewood to show us the damage. Mark, Krista, I want to take you closer to this home just so that you can see this damage. You can see all of the windows that have been knocked out. Also, the back of the home just charred. That's where fire crews say that the fire started. Fire crews actually still on the scene right now. You can see them searching around the back of the house. They're going to stay here all night just to make sure these hot spots don't flare up again. But we do have some video of what happened earlier this evening. You can see the size of the fire, the flames bursting out of this home. And and smoke pouring down the block. It was so thick at points that it blinded neighbors and made it extremely difficult to breathe. When fire crews got to the scene, they heard someone in the back of the house making noise. Once they got inside, it appeared the woman wasn't breathing. They performed CPR and were able to revive her. Dozens of neighbors lined the streets to get updates on her condition. One neighbor says his son was shaken up by the scene. He's rattled. You know, he can see in that home that could be his home. And uh, uh, it's just yesterday, in fact, I was checking the batteries on our smoke detector, and we've actually installed uh, sprinkler systems uh, and residential sprinkler systems in our home just for this kind of thing because uh, the stakes are so high. Well, two firefighters, one that was working for the Leewood Fire Department and another fire that firefighter that was working for the Consolidated District, they both received cuts, both of them still in the hospital tonight. We're still hoping to learn the cause of this fire. We'll have those updates when they become available. In the meantime, you can check our website, KSHB.com. Reporting live in Leewood, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News. So here's a look at exactly where this house is. It's right at the intersection of 95th and Meadow Lane, a few blocks west of State Line. The house is on the corner, not covered by trees here. You can see it clearly there. Now here's a look at the house before the fire. This is an image from Google Maps. And take a look at this. This is what the house looks like right now this evening after the fire consumed it. I think we've got that picture coming here. The roof is totally gone. The inside absolutely gutted.